the formula to find the sum of first n terms of an arithmetic proportion is s is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1d. Now we can also write the same as s is equal to n by 2 into a plus a because in the above formula 2a plus n minus 1d we can split into a plus a plus n minus 1d so a plus n minus 1d will become a and the term formula then one more formula if the sequence terminate if the progression is finite then a n will be the l so we want to find the all sum of all the terms then a n will become l so you can rewrite the formula like this s is equal to n by 2 into a plus n so now we can start using this formula a sum is equal to s is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1d this is our formula we, we use this formula to find sum of first few terms of an arithmetic function i give a simple formula simple progression so my question is first question very simple progression we can start with a very simple one 5 10 15 etc now we want to find the sum of uh, 21 terms of this arithmetic progression find the sum of first 21 terms first 21 terms of this ap terms of this ap okay very simple question so how can we do so which all terms terms we need uh, to find the sum we need n we need a we need d if you get first term common difference and the position number we can find the sum so you can simply write here a is 5 and d d what is d here 5 yes again 5 and then what will be n how many terms we want 21, 21. That, that not necessarily right so now we can start writing the sum right it's better always you write uh, the sum formula when you attend an exam if your steps are wrong if you if you are written the equation correct you will get some mark okay, so i request you to write the formula always okay so s is equal to so write s is equal to n by 2 times 2a plus n minus 1t if you don't use this you will forget so you want to use this formula always okay so we are writing s21 we want to find some up to 21st term so s21 is equal to you want to apply 21 in place of n okay so 21 by 2 into 2a what would be 2a 2 10. 10 yes okay 10 okay 2 into 5 next step you can reduce then plus n minus 1 n n is 20 okay so 21 minus 1 in next step you can reduce okay into 5 this is first question that's why i did in okay, next question you can make some of uh, simplified steps okay so 21 by 2 same into 2 times 5 is 10 plus 25 sorry okay 20, 20 into 5 100 yes okay and next step 21 into 21 into 10 plus 20 into 5 is 100 plus 10 okay 10 plus 100 110 okay 21 by 2 okay so next step 21 by 2 into 110 so you can uh, cut by 2 right you can okay. yes 55 so the answer will be 21 times 55 so you just multiply 55 into 21 so 55 and 110 right so you add 5 5 one one you get the answer okay one simple question another simple question arithmetic progression is given you want to find the sum of first 31 terms of this arithmetic progression so we shall do here so here a is first term is 100 and d the common difference is 50. okay sn the formula sum of first 10 terms so it's equal to we know n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 times d okay and then we know sn is equal to uh, s we want to find out up to 31 first term 
the sum of first 30, 31 terms is equal to 31 by 2 into 2a. I am writing so 2 times a, 2 times 100 will come. So 200, then plus n minus 1d. n minus 1 means 31 minus 1, that is 30. Okay? 30 into d is 50. Okay? So in next step, 31 by 2 into I want to add this to so 200 plus 30 times 50. What will be 30 times 50? 1500. 1500 1, plus 200. What will be 1700? 1, 1, 1700. So 1700. So you want to take the half of 1700. You, you can cancel by 2. 850. 850. So just to multiply 850 into 31. So 1 850 is 850 and 300 0, 3551 380 24 24 plus 125. Okay. So 0 5 3 6 2. This is 1350. Okay. So today this lesson we discussed how to find the sum of first in terms of an arithmetic progression uh, we practice the sum example questions.